Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box of the Technical Trader, and these are the charts of the day at the TechTrader.com. Uh, starting off on, the, well, we're all, they're all longs today. The market had a good day in the morning, certainly didn't close well, but there was a lot of stocks that we followed that did very well today. Let's start off with AEIS. You'll see the hidden shoulders bottom, the breakout, the platform wedge here, the, the run up to the top of the channel, pull back to mid channel on 50 day, run up to the top of the channel, then the slowest descent to test the trend line here. Today it exploded up to 1453. It did pull way back to 1338, but it was still up 12% or $1.44 or 1.8 million. That's by far the biggest volume since last July. So a very, very big day for the stock. And it did back off the top of the channel. But looking back on the longer term chart, AEIS could very well see a lot more upside as the target now may it appears to be somewhere up in this zone here across these highs. Let's call it 17 and a half, 18 up here a lot well we've liked this stock uh excuse the pun a lot ever since it was double bottom here and moved up last october then it platformed but the key day was the breakout here where we had a swing trade on it worked out well and it pulled back and consolidated as you can see in this kind of a pattern here a wedge of sorts with a flat top sending wedge broke out today with a breakaway gap jumped to dollar 76 or seven percent on one point Four million nearly, and that was the biggest volume since uh, March, second biggest volume of the year. So a breakout and a key move may be coming in a stock that could take it up towards the 29 to 30 zone short term. That's my target for ALLT. CAR budget, Avis budget group, the uh, merger of those two companies, budget and Avis, um, formed a big base over the last year. Today, with a big breakaway gap, blew through the moving averages and up through this first uh, March highs to test the key October and February highs and then closed above it with a thrust of 251 or 19% on 9.2 million shares. Biggest volume on an update this year. Certainly a nice session. And if you took a look at the long-term chart, you'll see a couple level layers of resistance. The near-term target, we should test 16 and a half, but my swing trade target is up around 18. CATM in a beautiful two-year rising channel. You can see this. The way, the, the way this appears here, um, absolutely exploded off the low that it traded way back in 09. But from a short-term standpoint, a beautiful channel. Now, the consolidation since November in this zone was finally broken today with thrust as the stock broke away from the moving averages, moved up through the highs, backed off and closed above them, up 9% or 236 on 1.2 million. That was the biggest volume since February, but more importantly, could lead to a run up to the channel top approximately in the 33 34 zone. That's my swing trade target. DDD, well, 3D systems, um, which had run up nicely in 2010, early 2011, then pulled back down, finally broke back out after forming a base for six months, um, flagged, exploded, and then pulled back and, and coiled before breaking out again. But today, a, a key resistance point taken out as this is now new all-time high territory and it wouldn't shock me to see this one run up into the mid to high 30s ddd ddmg thinly traded stock has been a beautiful runner of late it popped back to support for three days and has exploded from 660 to 920 or 50 percent just in the last six seven days we're overbought short term particularly at today's high 920 my target was nine we've reached near there and we may pull back and consolidate in the zone, but we may see more upside before not too long and get this stock into the 10-11 zone. Fire source, a big explosive move. At one point, the stock was up about eight points. It closed up 664, 13% on 3.4 million. Second biggest volume this year, back, second biggest volume in a year. As a matter of fact, and look what it did. It broke out of this rising channel, which held a 50-day recently and exploded. Now, on the long-term chart, You'll see the stock has been in a really interesting long-term rising channel. My target says this could be an $80, $90 stock on an intermediate to longer-term basis. But on a short-term basis, I'll call for something in the mid to high 60s. Swing trade golf, Georgia Golf. Um, pop, pulled back, and then reversed yesterday, and then today followed through up another $1.3 or 3%. 470,000 shares doesn't sound like a lot, but it's one of the biggest volumes in the last couple, three weeks, four weeks. And the volume can come into the stock here. This may very well spike 
I'm looking for an intermediate term move to 48.50 zone, a short term move into low 40s, maybe 43, 44 even. <clears throat> IPGP, um, interesting company with a great product line, had a big run um, here moving from the 15 to 75 range in a course of a year or so and came down last year, pulling all the way back from the 80 range back down to the mid 30s, finally snapped back. Sharply so in January, February, but then pulled back in a one, two, three, four wave, kind of five wave muted here, corrective channel. Today, I believe that channel was taken out with a pop as the stock jumped to as high as 57.51 before backing off to 55.17. Still up 677 or 14% on 2 million shares, the biggest volume in a couple months. So I'm looking for a test of these highs up here, short term around 60.61. That's my short term target. If we should get to that line, wouldn't shock me to see the stock in the mid to high 70s. Michael Kors broke out of a key declining channel today and took out lateral resistance here. Yesterday, popped back, I mean, two days ago, and then popped back and tested, held. Today, popped another 244, 5.3% of 4 million shares. Looks to me like this one's headed substantially higher. I'm looking for a retest of the 50, 51 zone short term. Should we get through that? Look from mid to high 50s. Maybe even low to mid 60s eventually. MDSO popped out of a wedge today and took out previous highs here. You can see how it closed up 273 at 10.5%. 800,000 traded. That's the biggest volume in a couple months. If you step back and look at a weekly chart, you'll see this has just gone through major all time high territory and may very well complete a fifth wave. One, two, three, four. The fifth wave may be underway. Let's look for something in the low to mid 30s. Nuvasiv had a very significant day today. Let me show you the pattern. After this big move down uh, during the course of last year into December, the stock then ran up to resistance, back to filled and coiled, and today broke out across this line, maybe headed to that line near 24. That's my swing trade target short term. I look for, see, look for any pullback entry ops on this one, as today's low at around 19 should be support. Sears Holding had a monster run from January through March, taking it from under 30 to the high 80s in just 90 days. Then a very orderly retracement took place in a very narrow, tight channel, but took it all the way back down towards the 50 range. Today, after moving up for a couple of days slightly, today it popped on 4.8 million shares, 827 or 15%, which is still 3.5 points off the high when it backed off the 50-day moving average. But watch for that to be taken out. And if it is, my next target is in the mid 70s. Ubiquity Networks in a very nice rising channel. The recent wedge it formed was broken today, I believe, although it did, didn't close great. It was about 99 cents off the high. It was still up $1.98 or 6%. And volume increased to the best volume of this year, if not in the year. So look for an extended move to take this up near 40. Vico, a big day for that stock. Take a look at the pattern here. You'll see that after breaking out of this mini head and shoulders in February, it retested, retested, and retested, but held. This wedge was broken a couple days ago, and today gapped up and ran up past this high and may very well test 37 half, 38 short term. Lastly is Velt. Love the base pattern, the breakout, the, the, the pennant or wedge. The sharp move up to resistance, and now the one, two, three wave corrective move, followed by today's action that showed it jump 51 cents and break out across the declining tops line. Um, up next, the test of the 1330 area, which I believe may happen as early as tomorrow. And then secondly, my target around 14 and three quarters. Should that be taken out, my secondary target is up against the top of the channel around 17, 17 and a half zone. So. That's it for tonight. There's some ideas for you on the long side. I'll talk to you tomorrow.